I got attracted to problems at the interface between chemistry and medicine because I thought it was a fascinating area to work in, one where somebody with an engineering mindset could have an impact. There is immense value to studying basic human biology at the level of molecules. We launched this interdisciplinary institute called ChemH, which is short for Chemistry, Engineering and Medicine for Human Health. Interdisciplinary research and education is important if the problems you seek to confront are so big that no single discipline can make a satisfactory inroad into them by itself. And what ChemH is is essentially a venue that brings together people with different backgrounds to be able to study basic human biology, to address long-range challenges in human health for which there are no imminent solutions on the horizon. At the core of ChemH, we're looking to build a community of scholars who can take on any one of those problems, or 10, if they so desire. But it's the special powers that the community provides that allows them to do so very effectively. There are a lot of great universities in the country, but there's very few that I know of have that have something that Stanford takes for granted, which is the proximity of scholars. Within less than five minutes walk from my office, the future leaders of not just the discovery engines of the healthcare of the future, but all the way to the delivery end. These people will also be the people who will go on to lead the next generation, lead uh, the venerable institutions like the FDA and the CDC into the next century. Stanford's one of those rare places that actually does attract a few people every year who aspire to do great things. Mm -hmm.